What's up, you guys? Welcome back. Today, I'm going to be walking you through this look step by step. This is a very classic Christmas makeup look. I feel like you can really dress this up or dress it down. I feel like it's natural, but also makes a statement. It's all of the good holiday feels. So I hope you guys enjoy this look. I'm going to walk you through it step by step. Please subscribe and let's get started. I'm going to start with primer. I've been really loving the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Primer. This actually I feel like is one of the only primers that I can really tell a difference when I wear it. There's very few primers that are like that for me. So I have been really liking it. It's very interesting of a formula. It kind of feels like a thick moisturizer, but also hydrating and silicone-y all at the same time. So it's a weird mixture, but I really like it. And I like the smell of it too. So going to apply this all over the skin. I'm very, very fair right now. All of my spray tan is off. So I'm gonna carry all of this down here because I still wanna look tan. So I'm just gonna use my tan foundations. Don't mind my extensions, I am due. Actually, my appointment isn't for two weeks. My hair I think is just really growing because I haven't been bleaching it. So my extensions are really grown out, which is good news. I was thinking about making it a goal to not bleach my hair in 2022. I'm thinking about it. When I go next for my appointment, I'm gonna have her actually bring some of this dark, which is like my natural color, just kind of threw out a little bit more. I don't know, thinking about it, I got two weeks to decide what I wanna do. For foundation, I'm gonna mix these two together. This is the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation and the one from Pat McGrath. I know I'm LM9 in Pat McGrath and this one is in the shade Nude, which for whatever reason looks so yellow once I put it on my skin, but see how yellow that looks? Once I blend it in, it's okay, but I'm gonna bring it down my neck as well because I'm gonna bring my foundation down as well. So today is kind of a weird day. It's December 2nd, it's a Thursday. Ruben has been sick since last week, Monday. So we didn't celebrate Thanksgiving with his family. I just went and celebrated with mine because his family, it's just his mom and his dad. So my family's Thanksgiving is like a bunch of people. So I just went and celebrated with them. The one with his family just got rescheduled. So now that he's feeling a little bit better, we're gonna go today. So it's kind of weird. I'm kind of in Christmas mode, but we're gonna go do Thanksgiving. I don't mind. I love Thanksgiving. That's my favorite holiday. His mom makes this stuffing that's like jalapeno and like sunflower seeds and cornbread. It's weird, but oh, it's so good. It's nice and spicy. Thanksgiving just was not the same without eating that. So I think it's gonna really feel like Thanksgiving today because we're gonna have that stuffing. It's, it's so good, so good. I just gave myself a little tan with that foundation. Before I move on, I wanna show you guys the inspiration picture. I found this on Pinterest. I do not know who the artist is that did this makeup. It looks like it's an ad for makeup or something like that, but this is kind of what I wanna to do today. I wanna to do a nice classic Christmas cheerful holiday vibe. This literally looks like my Christmas tree right now in a makeup look. Mm. Love it. For concealer, I'm gonna use the Pat McGrath concealer, LM9. And did you see I decorated my background? I did a little holiday vibe here. And blend this in. For contour, I'm gonna use the Chanel Cream Bronzer in um, their lighter shade. I do wanna get their darker shade because it looks like something I'd really like. I'm using the 157 brush from Smith and I'm gonna stipple this on my skin, just kind of going in a diagonal. And then I'm gonna layer more bronzer and contour. You don't have to do that. Just do your normal contour and highlight routine. And just setting with a little bit of powder. So I just went and contoured my nose. I used just a regular eyeshadow brush today just to see how I like it and kind of change it up a little bit. So far, so good, it was pretty easy. And then for highlighter, I'm gonna use the one from MAC in Step Bright Up. It's one of their holiday collection ones. It looks just like this. They had some amazing Black Friday deals on these and like their whole holiday collection at Ulta, I believe. I'm sure that the sales aren't going anymore, but I know that they have some like bundles and stuff. So I'll link those down below, but I'm gonna highlight with this right here in the tops of my cheekbones here. I love this cause it gives such a beautiful natural highlight. And then I'm just gonna use a little tiny brush to do the nose and then blend. 
And then for blush, I wanna use the Laura Lee Blush Aesthetic Palette that she just came out with. It looks like this inside with a bunch of beautiful shades. I kinda wanna use this color, but maybe this color. So this is Peach Fuzz, this is Sangria. I think I'm gonna start here and then maybe dabble a little bit into this one. And lightly put this on the cheeks. Oh, that's a really pretty color. And then I'm gonna grab the Sangria and just light, whoa, bitch. <laughs> Okay, that's intense. <laughs> okay, I'm just going taking my powder brush and just going over that to diffuse it. That was a nice, beautiful concoction. I kind of added a little warm and cool because the peach fuzz is warmer and that is cooler. You guys know I love mixing those together, but yeah, that turned out so beautiful. I love the whole aesthetic of the blush aesthetic palette. Time for eyebrows, I'm gonna zoom in. I'm gonna start with just one of my lighter colored pencils. It sounded like I said colored pencils like you know, like color pencils, like crayons, but one of the lighter toned ones that I have. So you can see my brow tint is kind of faded since my last video. It's been a week and a half since I did them, so I'm coming up about ready to touch those up again. I'm thinking every two weeks might be nice, but I'm gonna bring them through, just kind of map out the shape, and then I'm gonna hold really far back to do the front. Like barely apply any pressure. Now I'm going in with this NYX uh, brow marker and I'm just creating some strokes to go throughout my brows, make them look like brow hairs. And then I'm gonna go in with my spoolie, just kind of soften that, especially up here. And then going in with my e.l.f. brow gel, I think it's in neutral brown. It's this just little tiny spoolie here. I'm gonna go in and just brush the brow hairs upwards makes them really fluffy. By the way, when I was talking about the skinny brow trend, you guys, I'm not gonna tweeze my freaking eyebrows to little spermy brows. That's not at all what I said in that video. I was explaining that the skinny brow trend is coming back and with makeup, <laughs> you can give an illusion of a thinner brow. I'll just have to do a video and, and play with it and show you what I'm talking about because Y'all went from Cindy Crawford to Pam Anderson real quick. <laughs> I'm gonna prime. I'm using the Painterly Paint Pot from MAC. You can use any eye primer that you want. You can do no eye primer. Actually, this look would look good with no primer to kind of give like that wet sort of look on your lids. You know, a little oily action. Um, Because I am going to my in-laws tonight, I'm gonna have my makeup on all day, so I'm gonna prime. And then to finish the priming step, I just go in with my brush and just set with whatever powder is left over. For the eyeshadow, it's gonna be fairly simple and easy. And sometimes stuff that's very simple and easy going into it can be a little bit tricky for me just because I can tend to go overboard. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab a little bit of creme brulee from Makeup Geek. That's gonna, I think, be like my only eyeshadow for this. Just go right here in the outer corner and do some inner corner action. Normally I leave that blank, but today we're gonna jazz that up and bring this throughout the crease. And then also underneath the eye, just blend that out there. So now that I've got the shadow on, I'm gonna apply the sparkly product. That picture is what inspired me first to do this look. And then when this got sent to me, I thought this was the perfect product to, re to recreate this look. So this is the Jaclyn Cosmetics Glassy Shimmer Top Coat. Looks like this. They have a bunch of different colors, but this is the one that I thought that would be perfect for it. This again is the color Glassy. So I'm just gonna pick this up with my finger. Looks like this. And just pop this on my eyeball. Ooh, I'm mainly focusing on the center, but it will go basically everywhere. And then I can always go back over it with my shadow to kind of define those other areas. <sighs> this is looking exactly how I want it to look. Oh, I'm so excited. And in that picture, it goes pretty far up, like all the way up to the eyebrow. So we're gonna play with that and bring this up and just start layering to make it more frosty. 
and keeping the majority of it in the center and then once it's a lot of it's off the finger I'm gonna go everywhere else I'm gonna grab my brush and just go into those eyeshadows again just to reinforce the outer and inner corners just to make sure those areas still look darker, but it's still nice and glossy. See the difference between this one and this one? They're both beautiful, but this one just has a little bit more depth and it's just because we re-emphasized the shadow. In this picture, she also has a little bit of this on the bottom. So I'm just gonna take this on my finger and look up and rub this right here. I don't wanna bring it all over, just right on the bottom, mirroring the top. I'm just using this brush that has some leftover darker neutral eyeshadow on it and I'm just hitting the corners. I don't wanna go into a darker shadow and apply too much. If you don't have a dirty brush like I do, just dip it into some darker shadow if you want it to be a little bit more enhanced like this, but just dust off a lot of the product because you don't want it to get too smoky if you're trying to recreate this exactly. Okay, and in that picture she had white in her waterline. I'm gonna go in with nude, use whatever you'd like. I'm using the Anastasia Base One Pencil and then I'm also gonna grab my face highlighter Make sure you close the lids on these because it's a creamy product. You don't want to dry it out So make sure you put the lid back on I'm now just gonna grab my face highlighter and just highlight the inner corners of my eyes And up here on the brow bone. Oh these eyes they turned out exactly like I was hoping for I'm so excited and it's so natural too like you could do a nude lip with this and look super super glam but also over the top in a way just depending on how you wear this like I don't know I feel like this is like natural and effortless but also very just very Christmassy I really love it okay I'm gonna curl my lashes I need to clean my eyelash curler, don't look at it. I'm gonna do some mascara. This is the Tarte Man Eater Mascaras, one of my favorites. I'm applying these lashes. They're from Velour. I will link them down below. I'm not sure what style they are off the top of my head, but I wanted something with a thicker band to kind of give the illusion of eyeliner, and then something natural up top, but fluffy and dramatic at the same time. And I think that these were perfect because they stand out, but yet complement the look and it doesn't like cover it up or anything. I'm gonna go in with mascara for the bottom. This is the MAC Extended Play Mascara. We're just lightly Adding this here to get a little bit of balance between the dramatic lashes and the bottom. For my lipstick today, I think I'm gonna use the Patrick Ta. That's why she's late lipstick. It's a nice classic red. I might add a hint of she's not from here to the center to brighten it up, but we'll see. I'm gonna begin this off with the Cherry Lip Pencil from MAC. This is my favorite red lip liner you can see it's gonna go on like velvet so and I have to be very careful and try not to talk too much while I apply this but I always start right here in the center go to the outer corner and lightly drag it down follow your lip line I'm not coming right at it from the point of the pencil I'm kind of bringing it at a diagonal like this and I'm utilizing the entirety of the pencil I'm not just using the tip of it I'm using it on a slant and you can see that my pencil gets dirty because I use it on a diagonal. I hate when I say, if that makes sense, when it makes total sense, but I really do hope that I'm explaining this well enough that I'm not just using the tippy point of it, I'm using the whole pencil. Anyways, drag it down. And then do the top. Make a heart. Now you wanna lean your head and connect the outer corner upwards. You can see mine gets wider and then skinnier, so I'm gonna follow that wider point and make it kind of overline a little bit and then just mirror it on the other side. Now that I've got the majority of the shape, I'm just gonna go over it lightly just to intensify the red. Also, make sure you don't have a space here like this. 
go in and rock that in there so that it fills it in. Now really have it on its side and fill in the lip. So I'm gonna bring it like this, make sure on the edge and lightly drag it in. It shouldn't be very heavy. It should feel very lightweight because you have it on its side like this. Do this side. And I'm not even using the tip of the pencil. It's just the sides of it. So now I'm gonna go into That's Why She's Late and pop this on top. You can see it's a little bit richer where this kind of pulls a little bit more pink. So you wanna be very careful and detailed. So I got the majority of it on and then I'm gonna look really up close in my mirror to go over that lip liner and make sure that the lipstick goes over it so that it's nice and seamless. So right here, all the way down. And then you can always go back in with your lip liner to go over that and it'll kind of bring the lipstick into a lip liner form because you're using this and you're spreading the lipstick where you want it. Okay, don't forget to do this. It gets that inner rim off of the lipstick so it doesn't go all over your teeth. And then make sure you have a good makeup wipe to get the red off your finger, especially before you get dressed because you don't wanna go staining whatever you wear. I'm just switching out my earrings. These are the Drew Huggies from Miranda Fry. They're just like my go-to classic everyday hoops, but I feel like you can also really dress them up if you want. This is the final look. I love how this turned out. I feel like this is so just classic Christmassy. I feel like you can swap out the lip and make it whatever you want. You can go for something more berry. You can go for a deeper red. You can go for a brighter red. You could do a nude. You could just do a gloss, whatever. And everything works with the eye look. I feel like right now I'm just wearing a sweatshirt and I feel really, Casual but cute with the red lip, but um, I'm probably gonna dress up a little bit more for think our Thanksgiving later But yeah, I feel like you can really dress it down or dress it up depending on how on what you're wearing or how you're Wearing the look so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I got this look Please let me know what other holiday tutorials you'd like to see from me down below in the comment section Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye